Hello magical box lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name's Helen, I am 44 years old and I live here in a very very warm, getting hotter, blue sky Derbyshire. Yay, summer's here and I'm at work later. <sighs> and I work night, so at the height of the heat, this will be in bed trying to sleep. <laughs> Good job I've got a fan, that works. Yay. <laughs> Anyway, right, so what you've come for and what I've been waiting for for some months is June's 2022 Witch Casket. Yay! And we're all excited for this one. Anyone who follows Witch Casket will agree with me and we know why. Uh, this one, I think, is one of the highest priced ones that they've ever done. Obviously we haven't had to pay a penny more than the subscription, um, but the contents come up to about 80 pounds worth. That's inside, so wow. And it is the last of the elements because they've gone through all of the elements and this one is the earth box. So excited for this. So yeah, let's open it together. So, here we go. So that is all the contact details. So just type in Witch Casket. Uh, the do do trail, um, little trailer uh, teaser videos on YouTube. But that's, that is it, it's the only little teasers. Um, so the, they don't do other, uh, things other than that. You can follow them on Instagram, Facebook and Tumblr? <laughs> I can never remember what that is at the end. But yeah, just type in Witch Casket and they also do have a, a shop as well that you, you can just buy things from. Um, but some items you can't buy, um, you actually have to subscribe to be able to go and, and buy the items. I've actually forgotten to uh, bring the packet down that it came in. So if you just bear with me just a two seconds, I'll pop you on a brief pause and I'll show you the outer packet as well. I'm back. <laughs> Here it is. So I always like to show you what the packaging looks like so you know what people can see. So as usual, it's the same black bag that says fragile on the bottom and on the back says sent from love from the UK. The writing there is 100% biodegradable, so that's going to biodegrade. And on the actual return address, there's nothing on there that says witchcraft related. The actual return address there says to return to uh, the matrix it doesn't say return to which casket so there's nothing on there that says witchcraft which casket anything on there obviously I don't know what that code says and that's just my address that I've blanked out so yeah nothing on there that says witchcraft okay inside it does come with a little noodle doodles and uh, as a protection um, I have taken those out as always I do open my boxes just to give a Brief glance, make sure nothing's broken and to take those out so you're not seeing them just fly all over. And those little noodle doodles do melt down in water, they just dissolve away. If you do it in warm water, it does it a lot quicker, I've found. There you go, Helen, Helen's tip of the day. Right, so this is Witch Casket Earth Element Theme, June 2022. Right, so we'll open it up together. And I'll get the items out and then I'll go in more, more detail individually. So I'm going to try not to... So that's the information leaflet. I'll try not to use that too much if I can help it. And we've got the art print, which is oh, it's beautiful art. Some, I haven't opened this out so I don't know what it is. I just know it's some, something hessian. <laughs> same time and give you guys a, a good look oh we've got the pin yay so i've got all the pins now because each of the elements came with a pin as well so i have these on the altar next to all my um, symbols for the elements so quite a place on my altar these uh, as well as the tumble stone as well yay i did wonder if it was going to be a tiger's eye 
And something else in the baggie there. Ooh, that looks interesting. Uh, oh, can I get that out? Something heavy there. Didn't read that from that said. What's in this one? Again, something quite heavy. Ooh. No kidding when I said it was the biggest box yet. The scroll, I have actually undone the scroll, but I haven't read it yet, so I don't know what's in there. I'm presuming it's going to be about... Uh, I think that's a candle. Are we done? Yeah, my casket is empty. Whew, right, where to start? Um, I'll start with the scroll. Oh, I have noticed there's no incense this month. Ah, perhaps look around you. I don't think there's any room for incense this month. <laughs> there we go. So, right, as usual, you get a cool little sticker. And I always like to keep the stickers, so yeah. you knew I'll do. Uh, the element of earth in magic, I presumed it would be. So we've got a beautiful scroll explaining about uh, earth. And it's got like, um, it reminds me of Lord of the Rings. It's got like a map on the background. There we go. I'm not going to read it out to you because I always encourage that you actually go out and buy these caskets yourself. Um, the subscription boxes because... Um, the reason why I do make these videos is I do love, actually love and use these boxes. It's not, I don't get any money from the company. I pay for these boxes myself. I'm not monetized on YouTube. I just do the videos because I really enjoy them. Um, so yeah, so 100% recommend them. Right, so I don't know where to go next. This is intriguing me. I presume it's just a candle. Just a candle. It's one of our staples, isn't it, in witchcraft? So I take that back when I say just a candle. So it looks like I haven't had uh, an organza bag like that shape before. So we've got a gold candle. So I'm going to read on the leaflet to see if it's got anything inside it. You know, sometimes um, I think it was which casket they did a purple and gold candle, which is quite fun to use. So I'm just going to see what it says about the uh, candle and not and not cheat and read anything else right so gold coated black ritual candle this is why I wanted to read it so black to banish gold for success use this black candle for any spell or ritual for banishing letting go hex breaking etc this unique black ritual candle is dipped in gold to add extra power and success for your ritual that is why I wanted to read it, because I thought, is there something else inside it? So that's interesting, that. Love it. Go for the tumble stone. So yeah, so this completes the set. Um, you can actually buy them on uh, the website, so if, if you have actually missed one. Uh, obviously, this one's not for sale just yet, but if you wait a few months, they will be on sale. So it's a tiger's eye. There we go, we've got earth element. It's a really nice tiger's eye as well, look. You can see why they chose it. That I was actually thinking, oh, they're going to choose like a tiger's eye for it because that's what I think of, you know, gemstones for earth. I always think of tiger's eye and this, obviously, this colour tiger's eye. That's a lovely shaped one as well, and that's the back. So, yeah. So, like I say, this goes on my altar alongside the pin. So the pin is beautiful, look at that. And they've all got their own little um, um, like elements going on around it like this. We've got leaves, air, we've got like air, <laughs> air like smoke tendrils and that, it's beautiful. And look at the back, how cute is that little little tote stool? I love that, that'd be a nice tattoo. I keep saying this, that'd be a nice tattoo idea and I never, never do it. I have got tattoos but... <laughs> Just finding time, isn't it? Because I mean, you have to think about You can't just rush into a tattoo. You have to think about it. And it's having time to do it and then go through the healing process and never have time. That's my excuse anyway. Uh, bury it ritual kit. A magical ritual to help you bury your past and move on. I'm expecting, expecting a miniature cauldron. Uh, 
powder and coffee and a little shawl now. <laughs> the cackle I apologize <laughs> there we go so so we've got the, the ritual card and as usual I always write the rituals out and pop it uh, into a poly pocket so any spillages will go on that and not onto my bit of paper and then I put that inside so I know where the ritual or spell or what have you has come from so that's again they don't they could have just left that blank but no they've gone to the trouble of doing that and it does remind me of lord of the rings with the drawings on the back oh and we've got oh so again they've done that they don't have to could leave it blank so you have to write down i let go of and what you let go of the herb blend and a black candle i thought it was green some reason. So, oh, hang on, what else is that? Oh, oh a pencil. Oh, look at the pencil. It's got um, earth on it as well. Let me try and get it so you can see it without it blurring. There we go. Come on, come on, girl. You can do it. So, yeah, it's got earth on it. The, the, the symbol there, the triangle symbol there. And it looks a bit like a rose, how they've done it. That is beautiful. So they could have just chucked in a plain pencil. But no, they've done that. Oh, that is beautiful. That is, I love that. All this box and all that, I love a pencil. You, you, it, I keep saying it with these boxes, is the attention to detail that I really, really like and appreciate thoughts gone behind it and that is what I like and it's like they could have just said oh just use a bit of your own paper but no they've gone ahead and given you a bit of paper and it's a nice little oh they've done that to it you know what I mean that is what I like um so what other herbs does it say so the herbs are rosemary I thought it would be so the only thing that you need is fireproof dish so basically you're going to set fire to the uh, the what what you're letting go of the bit of paper uh, I don't know what to go for next. I'll go for this. So it's like a Hessian, I'm going to say Hessian bag, and it is a Hessian bag. Oh, look at that. It's a gathering bag. I haven't got one of these, and I, ha I was going to get one. I have been looking uh, for one. But the one I wanted was actually out of stock. It was one with um, tarot cards on, and it got the Empress on. Um, it's the terror tarot deck and they just do the major arcana and it, she looks a bit like morticia on it so i, I was going to get that but it was sold out so i've been looking for it oh this is beautiful i love that and it's a really big big useful bag oh i'm going to be using that be using that thank you very much so again it's not just a, a bag that they've just grabbed off the shelf it's this thought behind it you know it's a gathering bag it even says it on it gathering bag so that is what i like that is what i really like and um, i've got i've got this and two more what i call big items wrong way around helen there you go that is beautiful look at that i think is that the witch yeah it's the traditional witch at the bottom there look how beautiful is that? That looks like either a doorway or a cave, doesn't it? That she's coming out of. I think it's supposed to be just darkness. But to me, it looks like she's coming out of a cave. That is, that's amazing. Right, I'm just, whilst I'm showing it you, I'm just going to see who it's uh, drawn by. Uh, so it says, we hope you love this bewitching art print which was lovingly created by our in-house designer exclusively, exclusively for your earth casket. Uh, there, I, doesn't say who does it. So thank you very much who's done that. That is beautiful. And again, the back looks cute. Oh, hang on, there's something at the back. Uh, something there. So thank you, that person. It's beautiful. <laughs> right. So I'm going to go for these. These look like cards. Beautiful. As you know, I've recently got into tarot and oracle cards. So 
yeah I'm, I'm really really happy and I also have to share with you something as well on on theme of tarot cards um, I actually appear <laughs> well not appear my story has been read out on an episode of Yvette Fielding's Paranormal Activity um, and you can find that on Spotify and it's actually on the tarot card um, episode which is a recent one I think it was done on the 2nd of June so the day before my birthday and what it is is it was <laughs> she wanted to know of anybody's paranormal paranormal no, can't say it, paranormal experiences and I shared her with her my paranormal experiences uh, so I emailed her and it was all about my paranormal experiences that I had when I first dedicated myself to be a Wiccan and a witch and yeah, I had quite a lot of experiences uh, at night time. And yeah, so if you're interested in, in listening to that, then yeah, it's Yvette Fielding's Paranormal Activity on Spotify. And it's the episode that's Tarot Cards. I think it was the 2nd of June. And it's about 13 and a half minutes in, something like that. And it's under my name, Helen Murphy. And she reads out my email about my experiences of when I first dedicated myself to being a Wiccan and a witch. And yeah, it's very interesting. So I'm not going to elaborate on that because I've never shared with you guys any of my experiences or things like that. I just like to keep this. I give a little bit of help and advice if you guys uh, are interested in that. Uh, but I try and keep it more to the... The, the witch boxes that I do but just with seeing these cards that you just reminded me I thought I'd, I'd share it with you so these are botanical grimoire cards so beautiful black luxurious cards so are these stuck together a bit no they're quite thick they're really thick that you you can't not be able to is it riffle, riffle I can't say it riffle shuffle we won't be able to do that with these the very thick sturdy cards so it says these beautiful botanical cards were designed with love and positive energy and with the modern witch in mind we hope you enjoy them and find them useful in your practice use them to represent uh, their individual qualities on your altar incorporate them into spells and rituals add them to your book of shadows or grimoire uh, mini divination aid pull a card to see what needs you what needs your focus right now Oh, beautiful. So they've all got backs like that. So I'll show you them. So pine needles, um, that is for letting go. They have done um, cards before and they are really good, their cards. So we've got fern and that's for clarity. These are absolutely beautiful. Toadstools uh, for fertility. Beautiful maple leaf for abundance. Rose hips for good fortune. Moss for purification. Acorns for wisdom. You've got to have acorns for wisdom, haven't you? Bark for protection. Again, bark for protection. That makes sense. Thorns for defence, yep. Oh, these are beautiful. Succulents for endurance. Chestnuts for love. Eucalyptus for healing. These are beautiful. In fact, there are more than I thought there were going to be. You know, with them being thick cards, how many cards have we got? So I'm just going to count. One, two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then there's the information card they are beautiful do you know what they remind me of after eight chocolate you know <laughs> they're not that thick but they are really thick sturdy cards so you'll be able to shuffle like that but the you know when you're shuffling like, like that i don't think you'll be able to you'd ruin them which I never shuffle them like that anyway. I, I, I don't want to ruin my cards. I always do it like that. But yeah, you can shuffle them. They are shuffleable. They are beautiful, says she, chucking them all over. And yeah, I will incorporate them into my practice somehow. But they are beautiful. 
I say they have done some cards before and I do use those. They are really good. So we're down to these last two items. So I don't know what to do. I'll go for this one. Oh, just seeing what it is. And again, the packaging, they don't have to. They could just put pestle and mortar and that's it. Now I have actually got my pestle and mortar from Witch Casket. But it's not in this colour. Oh. It's a wooden one. Now the one I've got is actually a ceramic one. So it's nice to have a wooden one so you can use it for different things. Because... Um, for different herbs and that you wouldn't use uh, like a wooden one. I wouldn't want anything that's going to stain. Uh, I'd use like my ceramic one for things like that. She can wash it better. But the, this is beautiful. I'm definitely going to be using this. Look how cute that is. Oh, that is beautiful. Really nice on the inside as well. That's just a bit of, uh, bit of there we go, bit of, bit of dust. That is beautiful. I love that. Plain, simple, just what you need, and it's not, it's light, it's a decent weight without it being too heavy. Because sometimes pestle and mortar can be really heavy. My ceramic one is just right, and it's got um, um, a little rubber bit on the bottom so it doesn't move about. And this, this is beautiful. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm loving this box. It's been well worth the wait, which casket, it's been well worth the wait. So, this is the last item. So, we've got can't get in it. Bear with me. Oh, so it is a. I haven't got one of these. I just use a book. I had one when I was a child, and God knows what I did. I think I must have thrown it away. Look at that! Oh, I love that. So it's a flower press. So all you do is you open it all up. You pop your your flower in between and then you just tighten tighten them all up so it's going to save me having to use my books and then I forget about them then you open I go oh, I'll read that book oh what's it because <laughs> I've, I've, I've forgotten but that is beautiful just just nice size as well because you can get obviously bigger ones but that is beautiful that I love that I love that very much. So every item, I'm absolutely blown away with this. You can tell I'm a bit speechless, which is quite amazing for me, really, being a Gemini. Um, yeah, million out of ten. Love it, love it. Well worth waiting for. And finally, all the elements are now complete. My altar will look amazing thank you everything that i can use things that i can't wait to use and try out can't wait to go foraging and use my cards i'll get those cleansed yeah thank you very much witch casket i can't wait to see what you're going to do next month crikey Whew. yeah love it love it i mean even the candle it wasn't just a plain gold candle it was a special candle, you know. I love that. Brilliant. Thank you very, very much, Witch Casket. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Right, so enough rambling from me, because I'm just going to keep on going. I love it, I love it, love it. You, you know how much I love it. Uh, so, yeah, please check out Witch Casket. You know, get these subscription boxes. I highly recommend them. You won't be disappointed. And, yeah. So, if you've enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, so I'm a little bit speechless as well, so I'll shut up, shut up Helen, shut up. <laughs> right, so yeah, like, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, because I, I do really enjoy making them, and thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, so yeah, please stay safe, please keep your loved ones safe as well, and yeah, I hope you have a magical week. Thank you very much for watching, see you the next time, bye!